What's going on guys? It's your girl Toya. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel Vlog Talk where we vlog and talk. Today we're actually going to have a mini Bible study. Okay? And I wanted to talk on the importance of walking in the supernatural and I wanted to touch on also rest. What does it mean to rest? So, let's get into the this topic okay so walking into the supernatural is simply walking by faith and not by by sight okay but what I've learned is a lot of us are walking superficially which is the opposite of that walking by sight and not by faith and we're wondering what's going on why haven't things happened yet well that's why we are to live supernaturally instead of superficially okay so what does it mean to rest to rest in God means to totally depend on Him. You cast all your anxiety over on Him. Okay? And why, uh, what triggers this rest? What The thing that triggers this rest is belief. Belief triggers the rest. Because when we, we give it to God and we say, Lord, we know, or I know that this has already been finished. This is a finished work. I have nothing else left to do but to thank you. I want to thank you for what I yet don't see in the natural, but yet for what I see in the supernatural. It is so important to give God thanksgiving before it manifests. So for instance, if, you, if you're desiring a car, it doesn't matter what kind of car it is. Just believe you received it by speaking. Speaking not with empty words, but speaking uh, with your heart and saying, Lord, I thank you. That I have this particular type of car. Even for those of you who believe in marriage, uh, marriage is made in heaven. For those of you who have faith in that. If you are single and you're desiring a spouse, first of all, I want to encourage you to carry yourself like a spouse. And I want you to... Go in the supernatural and stay there. And I want you to begin to thank God for your husband and your and or your wife. And, and just give God praise and whatever you desire. Lord, I thank you that he cooks, he cleans, he looks after the kids. She carries herself like a beautiful young lady. She She's all into the word. She gets up, she eats her, her spiritual food every day. Whatever it is that you desire, just speak that. And then just say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for this this type of spouse. They have all the character traits of you. Lord, I want to thank you for what you didn't have to do, but you did it for me. Lord, thank you. And what, is, what am I doing? I'm laboring to enter into the rest. That's exactly what I'm doing because we know doubt will come and when it comes, we are not going to be weary in thanksgiving. We're just going to, or well doing, we're just going to continue to thank God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. So I just wanted to encourage you guys to carry yourselves like spouses and our responsibility to pray for our future spouses. We have to pray for our spouses. It is our responsibility because God tells us that we are our brother's keeper. Okay? So we have to cover our spouses as well by saying, Lord, I thank you that my spouse is healed. If he have any children or if she have any children, I thank you that great is their peace. I thank you, Father, for a favor that on their jobs, they walk in the favor of God. Lord, I thank you, Father God, that they are every bit of you, that they are ye transferred by the re renewing of their minds. So just begin to, to pray for your future spouse. So I know for me, I do believe that it is truly already done for me. My husband has all the character traits of Christ. And for that, I want to thank God for that. And you guys keep watching my life because it won't be before long that if I continue to stay and get to the end of my faith, it will be my husband and I all talk together and we will be talking about how God brought us together and how, you know, good he is and just everything that you guys may be wanting wondering or wanting to know so again just keep watching my life because it shall come to pass and in fact i'm just going to be radical and say that his is 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 i thank you lord that it's already manifested even though it's manifesting i'm just being radical so i just want to give god praise for that so i encourage you do not be weary in your well-doing continue to give god praise and also wanted to touch on uh being whole 
So not just uh, being whole in every area. So not only are we whole in one department, but we're whole in all other departments, especially the financial arena. In fact, in Psalms 35 and 27, it says that God has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. So he has pleasure in our prosperity. And I know some people saying, yes, rich in spirit. Uh, unfortunately, if it, say, if it stays in the spirit, it will be no, of no benefit to us. It's not supposed to stay in the spirit for that reason. It's supposed to transfer from the supernatural into the natural. So it's not supposed to, again, stay in the spirit. It must manifest or it will be no benefit to you. Okay, uh, another scripture says, Psalms 22, says that the blessing of the Lord, it make it rich. And he added no painful toil to it. No, no sorrow, right? So the blessing has made it rich. And also I wanted to touch, to touch on the blessing. The blessing manifests blessings. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Okay, so we just have to understand also in Genesis 26, I believe 13 and 23 says that we grew richer and richer by the day until, be, until we became exceedingly rich. So again, I'm not just talking about we're not supposed to be just rich in the spirit because it must manifest. How will it do us some good if it stay in the spirit? It must travel through a tunnel called faith into the supernatural, this natural physical realm. Okay. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about that, link it in the comment section below. All right, so I definitely wanted to touch on that. God is, is God is saying, even in a financial department, not only are we rich in our marriages, which we know, thank you, Lord, that's already done, and that is uh, the marriage of peace. No, uh, not only are we rich, uh, even in health, that's that's health healthy you know we we have nothing missing nothing broken basically um we're also uh, again just to stress that we're rich financially and i know you're thinking well why isn't everyone rich financially well the same reason why everyone isn't healed uh Everyone isn't healed. The same reason why everyone isn't delivered. The same reason why everyone isn't set free. The same reason why everyone isn't prospered. So, when I speak of prospered, I mean um, wholeness. Prosperity means wholeness. It doesn't just mean money. If you think that it means money, you are not incorrect, but you are incomplete. So, for the same reason that, again, people are not all of these things. The same reason why people are not saved. Because... They haven't been mixed with faith in hearing the word. God says that the word preached did not profit them not being mixed with faith and hearing the word. That's the reason why. And some people say, well, I do believe and it still hasn't manifested yet. Well, you are in need of patience. God said, let patience have her perfect work. If you get to the end of the faith, you will see the manifestations of the glory of God. Again, uh, we all have things that we're believing in God for. But for me, I'm going higher and I'm thanking him for what's already done. So I just want to thank him, thank him, thank him. I encourage you to do the same because there is manifestation and thanksgiving. Okay, so I just wanted to touch on that. So that's all I got for today, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, once again, I want you to link it in a comment section, and I will be sure to get back with you and my response. So, until then, I thank you guys for tuning in to my channel. Subscribe, like, share this video if it may be a benefit to you or someone else. And until next time, guys, I'll see you on my next vlog. Thanks for tuning in to my channel, Vlog Talk, where we vlog and talk. Guys, I wanted to just say that this is not supposed to make sense. It's supposed to make faith. It doesn't always make sense to thank God for what you don't see, but he encouraged us to live uh, by faith and not by sight to prevent disappointment, depression, and so forth, and to stop the blessings or the blessing from manifesting the blessing blessings.